from the dailymail.co.uk. Mother stopped as she is walking along the promenade by police officer after someone called 999 to report that her daughter might be cold. Now, dressed in woolly tights, leggings, all in one vest and a fleecy top, nine-month-old Maddie Andrew seemed well wrapped up for winter, but that did not stop a passerby by dialing 999 to report her mother Paula for exposing a child to the cold. Two policemen were immediately sent to Scarborough Seafront to question her about Maddie's welfare. Okay, now an informant, an anonymous caller, informant, called law enforcement to inform on what appeared to be a single mother and a child on the promenade. Now this allows predation on our most valuable beings. The informants will also be held accountable coming soon. Every one of you that have delivered somebody up or think it's best to inform on your brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, children, and put these in, them in these places of hell will be held accountable. Octomom Nadia Sulman charged with welfare fraud by LA District Attorney. This is on MassLive.com. Now, years ago when Octomom had all eight of her children, Gloria Allred, an attorney, entered onto the scene and protected her, quote, rights. This, of course, is the action of low-intensity conflict, where there's force always behind Nadia Suleiman, whereby she's forced to reach out for help. In a natural state of being, Nadia Suleiman and her children would not be preyed on by attorneys. Inflation rates created by attorneys. And the debt we find ourselves wrapped around our necks. Now Gloria Allred in the action of hearts and minds or winning hearts and minds, an attorney came in and offered Nadia Suleiman rights and benefits and all the things that come with winning of hearts and minds, which is a war tactic. She told her that under feminism she could do pornos and she could go naked and dance and do all of these things that are for entertainment value. But Nadia needs to be protected now more than ever by humanity because she is now being preyed on by the very attorneys that told her to do these things. Quote, Octomon Nadia Suleiman did porn films, box delix celebrities, even endorsed birth control for dogs after giving birth in 2009 to eight babies after she received in vitro fertility treatments. Through it all, she never ran afoul of the law, at least until now. First of all, she hasn't perpetrated a crime against a human being, so she hasn't broken any laws. On Monday, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office announced Suleiman has been charged with three counts of welfare fraud. Authorities say the 38-year-old single mother of 14 children failed to report $30,000 she earned while collecting public assistance money. Suleiman, who was charged January 6th, was not immediately taken into custody, but was ordered to appear in court on Friday. Prosecutors plan to ask that bail be set at $25,000. She failed to report $30,000 of income, and her bail is set at $25,000. There's 14 children being preyed on by this prosecuting attorney by the city of Los Angeles, by the county, Orange, by the state of California, which, of course, is a franchise of a bankrupt corporation. 
this bankrupt corporation, has decided to foreclose on the estate of Nadia Suleiman because she's up for grabs. Why is she up for grabs? You know, she's been patronizing the law merchant. She's been patronizing Gloria Allred. She's been patronizing feminist organizations. She's been patronizing the state and calling it her father. So it's taking care of her and her kids. She has a bail amount due of $25,000 for 14 children for a crime against the laws of revenue as defined by 27 CFR 72.11. 